Welcome to the Gardeneries. <laughs> we are the Wonderland Storytellers, and we've got Avery, Jolene, and Andre. Hey guys, so we're going to take you down the garden route. We've got three kids, so our aim is to do the garden route with kids so that we can show you what all the fun things are to do. Um, we're starting in Port Elizabeth. Now, Port Elizabeth isn't actually officially part of the garden route, but a lot of people make it part of the route because there's an airport so you can easily fly in there. So we're spending two nights in PE so that we can do the Addo National Elephant Park. Mm -hmm. Then we are driving up to Naisna area where we are spending Mommy, four nights because there, because there is a yeah. hell of a lot of stuff that you can do Mommy, in that area. With me. And then we are off to Oatswurren, which in we stay on an ostrich farm, so that's really cool. That is cool. Can't <laughs> so wait. we are there for three nights, and then we're going to make our way back to Cape Town. So the garden actually ends in Mosselby and starts in Storms River, but most people extend it from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town because it just makes awesome spots to start and finish off. So guys, first up, we've got Port Elizabeth, and we're going to show you around. The Addo Elephant Park. Yay! <laughs> Sucker. Just went across the road, man, just bouncing around like he was like, you know, having fun, man. That was so cool. <laughs> hey, babe. I don't know. Hey, guys, having fun? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> cool. Okay guys, so after your stop in Port Elizabeth, you're going to drive through and I suggest you stay either in Plettenberg Bay or in Neisner. Um, there's quite a lot of different activities that you can do here with the kids, so it's a really, really fun place to be. We're just waiting for our tour to start at Jukani, which is a wildlife sanctuary and they've got a lot of apex predators here. So um, you get to go on a tour, um, they take you around, it's an, about an hour, hour, 20 minutes and after that we're going to head to Monkey Land. But first I'll show you guys around Jukani. fact about honey badgers they can kill lions elephants and even snakes can bite them but they don't kill them they're strong suckers they're nuts. place to go it's all rescue animals there there is no human interaction with them so um, it's it's really cool um, highly recommend it and now we're waiting for our next tour to start which is at Yay! <laughs> so that's pretty cool <laughs> all right we'll show you guys around We are in the monkey land. <laughs> Having a party. <laughs> Hey 
Okay guys, so uh, when you are staying in Petensberg Bay, uh, you can hang around the beaches obviously, but uh, the one of the really good places to um, eat is Enrico's, which is up there. A really awesome view, really great food, but uh, it is the 1st of January, so it's closed. So we can't stay there today and show you the food, but uh, we're gonna have to find somewhere else. But check this out. There you go, so if you walk down at Enrico's, this is what we mean by what a view. How cool is that? That's where you can eat and you can go to the beach and chill out over here. Alright guys, so next stop, something that you absolutely have to do is to come and check out the Titsikama National Park. So there's quite a lot of different hikes here. You can also go canoeing. There's lots of different things that you can do. The most popular walk is the Storms River Mouth Walk. And that's the one that goes over the suspension bridge and kind of hugs around the coastline. So that's the one we're going to show you guys today. We've got a three-year-old, so we're not going to go all the way to the end. If you go all the way to the end, you're going to get an amazing viewpoint. Um, but we're going to turn around after the suspension bridges because it's a bit of a challenging bit there at the end. Cool guys, so we'll show you the walk. Cool. So for those curious, you got to climb up all the way up there to get to the viewpoint. So hope that helps you figure out if your kids is old enough for that climb or not. Because it, it sure as hell is um, challenging. I think with this one we might skip it and just do the fun part, huh? <laughs> down the pathway where is my finger I can't find it there we go <laughs> over there there's a cave over there which is why you need to go on the canoe to check it out <laughs> all right so um, what I can say is if you're going to the Titsikama National Park and you're only gonna go and do the walk it works out really expensive because <laughs> we pay like 990 Rand which is the international um, visitors for our family of five, which is <laughs> really pricey just to go and do a bit of a, um, a walk. So that's something that you can keep in mind. After that, um, we're at Naisna and we're gonna go and check out the East Head viewpoint. Um, so if you come here doing a boat trip and all of that is a really really good idea but we've run out of time so we're going to check out the viewpoint and then we're going to make our way um, through to Oatswern which is where we're staying on an ostrich farm. Cool guys! What did you find, babe? This is the third viewpoint that you can see up here. Oh, wow. And it's pretty spectacular. Look at that. See? There's people on the beach over there on the rocks chilling out. And look at this, man. That's like a walkway over there with caves. That's cool. Doesn't look like everybody's walking there, but there are people on the beach. Wow, that's cool. Some more awesome mountains in South Africa. Whoop, whoop. And you probably won't be able to see the view because I think we're up in the clouds now. <laughs> <laughs> but it is actually really, really pretty so down there. Look at this bam, bam. Hello there. Just driving on the edge. I know, it's freaking me out 
slightly. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna concentrate on the road, eh? Hey guys, so it's a new day. Yay! We are in Oatsworn. It's hot, 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 hot. It's actually getting to like 40 degrees here, so mm -hmm. it's pretty steamy. <laughs> yep. Um, quick information, the drive from George to Oatsworn, it is Amazing. absolutely stunning. Yep. Like truly, you um you go through a mountain pass. It's just amazing. You go around a corner and you just see this dry Kurua like landscape in front of you, and it's just really surreal. It's so so incredible how you can just in a tick be in such a completely different looking landscape. So <coughs> today we are going on a safari tour. <laughs> tour. <laughs> so Some, something's behind my head, poking me in the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we've got an hour ostrich tour to learn cool. more about the ostriches here. Um, it's on the back of a tractor, so it's really, really cool Yay. and we're looking forward to it. Awesome. Let's show you, eh? <laughs> cool. So this tour goes for 100 kilometers per hour. Not. <laughs> okay, ladies and gents, welcome. I'm Nikki. The tour is about 45 minutes per hour and you'll be able to see the ostriches. Look at this guys, that's a nest over there. This is where they make the little ones. <laughs> yeah. That's cool man, eh? Yeah, <laughs> What are you guys doing there? What? You gonna turn around? Maybe you gotta turn around this way. Hold the hand, Lily. Hold her hand so she can balance. What the? Uh, standing on the eggs, man. <laughs> that was a really cool tour like really loved it I knew the kids would love it but I didn't think that I would actually have so much fun so definitely recommend it um, we have just run back to our house because it Air is so hot we're <laughs> actually <laughs> staying on this farm which means that we are lucky enough to have like baby ostriches like right out of this window in our yeah. house and I know you guys can't see it but out of that window there we've got some kudu and what's really cool is that the kids can feed some of the animals, bottle feed them, they um, rescue some of the wildlife and, and then they hand raise them so the kids get to try that out as well. So yeah, we'll um, talk to you tomorrow when we're off to the Kango Caves. Cool, bye. Ah, look at that. Some baboons. All right, so guys, it is 44 degrees here today in <laughs> Oatsworn. So we've done the really, really smart thing and hopped in the car with the aircon, and we're going to make a bit of a day, dry driving around day today. And 
we're also going to visit the caves because the caves is always a lovely 18 degrees inside so it's nice and cool so if you guys are interested in what we are doing we are heading to prince albert and on the way there we are going to do the Mierungspurt pass so that goes through the mountains really really beautiful and have some lunch in prince albert and then we're going to go to the kango caves via the swart swartberg pass I'm saying it as if i can't speak afrikaans for some reason <laughs> <laughs> swartberg pass <laughs> um and then we'll go back home after our kango caves expedition now as a bit of a tip you do have to book a spot for the Kango Caves, so don't just turn up there because you might not be able to um, actually go inside. So yeah, cool. All right, I'll show you guys a little bit of the drive so you can see what it's like. And yeah, we're excited. Man, this place is ridiculous cool. Look at this. We're driving through these massive mountains, man. All rocky and stuff. Might be zooming a bit too fast, but no, no that's cool. So that is cool, beautiful. man. So beautiful. I Defin love this place. Definitely do it. It's it's stunning here. Absolutely stunning. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely awesome. So Prince Albert, we are at the Lazy Lizard for lunch. I've got a very traditional South African curry with bananas and a salad and chutney that you're all meant to put on top, which is very yummy. Just like where you like it. Lily's got a pesto pasta. And Andre's taken some roast and potatoes. So awesome place to stop, yummy food. And we'll show you guys the pass on the way to Kango Caves in a minute. Alright, so you guys can hear this because we're on a dirt road. We are doing the Swartberg Pass now, and it is really cool. Look at this. It's like right underneath it. think I can fit this these mountains all into this video like check this out this is insane 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 like seriously
looks like we're driving on top of the world here. Yeah. yeah, it's only like a couple hundred meters down on that side. But you know, because you've had the same on the other side of the map, right? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> we're late. <laughs> we're at the Kango Caves and we've got to catch up with a tour. <laughs> very very rushed introduction to the caves there <laughs> we were like actually had a run to catch up with the tour group so um so just to remind you guys there are two tours at the Kango caves there is an adventure tour which I don't really recommend for anyone that has kids because you've got to crawl through tunnels it's um it is an adventure tour and then you've got the one hour family friendly tour, which is the one that we did, um, which was really, really cool, really easy to do, very manageable. So highly recommend that one. And that brings us to the final destination. To the end. <laughs> so the drive actually, the garden route actually ends in Mossel Bay. And then you miss your first time. <laughs> she wants to be in this one. Um, the garden route actually ends in Mosulbay, but we live like five minutes away from the beach in Australia. So for us, it wasn't that important to go to the beach and we decided to tag on the extra nights onto Cape Town instead because we are really excited about exploring Cape Town. But if you really would love to go to the beach because you don't live close to a beach, um, I do prefer Herm Hermanus over Mosulbay. And you can also do the shark dive there, which is really, really cool. Yeah, that sounds like um, So you can tag on two nights there and then make your way to Cape Town, which is where we're at. Yeah, I bet you want to see our <laughs> view. We are squinting from our balcony right now. So we'll show you the view in a minute. Um, just to recap, um, the drive actually starts in Mossel Bay and goes down to Storm River. Most people do it from Cape Town to PE because that's where the two airports are located. So it's easy to fly in, make a start, drive through and then fly out rather than having to backtrack all the way. Um, if you want to do a similar trip to what we did, we did two nights in PE. Then we had four nights in um, Blettenbach Bay but we had one day where Katie was sick. So you, if you want to do what we did, you can do it in three nights, or you can add on some really cool activities. There is so much to do around that area. After that, we went to Oatsworn, which is where we spent three nights, which was just the perfect amount. And now we're gonna finish off our trip in Cape Town, but that's a different video. So if you would like to watch us in Cape Town, you will need to click through and actually see that video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the garden route. We did. Yep. I absolutely loved it. It was very wow. Even the driving was really, really wow. Um, 
so yeah highly recommend it and what a better place to end it off than in the beautiful mother city of Cape Town so we'll show you guys our view from our apartment and the apartment thanks for watching guys thanks for watching see you next time bye <laughs>